Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here and welcome back to another video. We're doing five new app productivity applications in November 2021. I know this feels like it's a little bit out of date, but it's actually not because I sort of, uh, I want to start rounding up a few apps that are sort of looking quite interesting um, in the month uh, before or after, um, depending on how fast I get out the video. Now, as you can imagine, uh, all of these apps are fairly new. So obviously, if you're quite strong and confident on your selection, then don't necessarily jump. These are just ones that are keeping an eye on, keeping me my interest. And I want to start with the first one, which is Cron Calendar. Now, we all know the last couple of years, calendar apps have been really... Uh, Woven was the last decent one. And there's sort of like a bit of like a... Uh, we're on the precipice of uh, a few calendar apps coming out, including Cron, Magical Day Bridge, and a few more. Um, so I think it's quite interesting to see another app enter the space. And Cron looks very well designed. It also looks like it's got a great command bar um, and also some good uh, abilities to create meetings quite fast. So I'm excited for this application. Hopefully they survive <laughs> longer than Woven did. Um, or, you know, I know Woven got bought out, but still... Um, I want it longer. <laughs> um, but Cron, um, I haven't quite got access to it yet. Early access is uh, sign up at the moment. I've had a good friend of Keep Productive uh, sign up and they said it's sort of an anti-climax. Um, so maybe we'll get that in the sort of first impressions review. Let's see. Uh, but I'm still interested in checking it out. The second one I mentioned is actually a Notion template. Now, there's a creator called Islo um, who creates Notion templates, and he's created one for the G GTD dashboard for managing your projects, tasks, and personal management. Um, and it's quite an interesting one in the way that he set it up. He set it up with Home, Inbox, Upcoming, Someday, and Reference. So I thought that was a really cool app. And obviously, like, Notion is really creating a, a space where people can create, like, fully-fledged experiences. Um, and with the integrations they're doing, it's actually becoming even more possible. The third one that I mentioned was one called Piece 3, and it's actually a Mac app that floats on top, um, and it's really just a lightweight note taker, more like Side Note. We did a feature on that more recently um, that's available through Setup, but it's a markdown one that allows you to take fleeting notes and thoughts and help you stay focused. So it's quite an interesting um, concept for a note taking app. Very, very, very basic, but one that I'm sure um, will be of interest. Number four is one called Weave It. And this whole like bi-directional linking sort of card-based productivity note-taking apps is really cool at the moment. Um, you know, like we have Obsidian and Rome, but this looks like interesting because they've got something called, uh, they're calling it AI Insights into all of your notes um, and sort of how to bring that together. So you can create uh, blocks and connect up your notes in a much more understandable way than say Rome and Obsidian. So I'm interested to see how this um, sort of plays out. I think that they, they say on the website that they're building a graph of your mind. And as I said, AI driven suggestions. And they also got something called um, with a security SHA256 encryption. Um, so it's private whilst in-app and in transit, um, so com completely encrypted. Um, as you can imagine, um, that's very good to have. <laughs> so um, that's good news with this application. But I'm keeping an eye on it, like it's one of these new applications um, for note-taking that have my attention, much like MEM. And number five, um, this is another set-up app, it's called Mental Walk. Um, it's an encrypted based lightweight journal application. So it stores stuff in the database encrypted. Um, you can either do two things in it. You can just let your mind free in terms of writing short journal entries, or you can pick questions for yourself. So you can think um, about something new. That's what their prompt is. And you can create little journals. Um, it's a really neat little application. It's available through Setup. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, and I actually did a review on it, which should be coming out soon. But um, yeah, super lightweight. Nothing too like, nothing that I'm going to necessarily write home about, but nothing that um, doesn't look uh, like simple and easy for somebody that would like to start journaling. Um, it would, I think, find really suitable. 
So I hope you enjoyed this feature. We are writing more regularly on Medium. So this will come out two weeks after the Medium. So if you want these in your sort of inbox on a regular basis, you can sign up to our Medium. Um, that is um, like you get free, free articles. However, after that, you have to sort of go into the Medium ecosystem, which is $5 a month, which um, I, I pay for. I've paid for quite a while and I quite like how many articles get access to per month and the sort of articles that are being talked about. So if you're interested, you can check that out in the link in the description. But folks, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Um, please do subscribe if you're brand new and feel free to comment with some of the applications that you've got your eye on this month. Cheerio, folks.